Hi, this is Dr. Otto Janke. I am a, a executive board officer with the New York Chiropractic Council. Coming up in October 17th, 18th, and 19th, we have our annual convention, Westchester, New York, the Terrytown Marriott. We have, a, I think, a star-studded lineup this year, but one of our guest speakers this year, who uh, I think is going to transform our practices, and I think he's going to say it too also, is Dr. Ray Foxworth with Cairo Health USA. Dr. Foxworth, great to have you on today. Thanks so much. I appreciate the invite. Okay, one quick thing is, what is Cairo Health USA? If I could sum it up into a very short phrase, it is basically a PPO for your patients who have non-covered services. You know, we have fee schedules we go by for insurance companies, but we really haven't had fee schedules for our cash and underinsured. And with today's regulatory environment, we have to worry about dual fee schedules, improper time of service discounts, all the compliance issues. Well, if doctors want to make all of that headache go away, they can use a network like Cairo Health that works in conjunction with a discount medical plan. It allows you to set your own level of discounts, and it's just like having a PPO for your cash underinsured and even your federally insured patients like Medicare. And so what's going to be the the big uh, focus of the talk you give us in uh, in Westchester? And what's going to, what, are we, what are we going to take away from that? Sure. Well, I think what we have to do is, as, as healthcare providers these days is, is realize a couple of things. Number one, your financial policy is probably the single greatest tool that you have for the financial right. success of your practice. It's how you set your fees, how you determine your fees, how you present payment options to patients. Now, that being said, it's our greatest tool for profitability. But if we're not careful, your financial policy can also be your greatest area of risk. And what I mean by that, Doc, is most complaints to boards of examiners these days are not about our clinical care. They're about our financial policies. Right. So what we're going to go over is what's called the seven steps to a compliant and profitable financial policy. It's about knowing your numbers. What's your cost of doing business? It's about how to set up your fee system, your financial policy, how to train your staff, keep the fees current, and most importantly, the things to avoid, like the dual fee schedules, the improper time of service discounts. Make sure you're not creating inducement violations or creating uh, false claims act or any kickback violation. So it's how to set your financial up, uh, financial policy up properly so you can be profitable and making sure that you eliminate the risks that we have with all of the regular uh, rules and regulations we deal with um, in this in this time. So we're going to be able to come away from the talk you do in, in our uh, convention with the seven steps right there. Absolutely. You'll get a copy. Actually, you'll get a copy of the PowerPoint that we'll go over. That is the seven steps. So you won't have to be writing all the notes. And then cool. probably the biggest takeaway that, that we have, um, as I had mentioned to someone earlier, it only took me 29 years. I guess that's why we call it practice because <laughs> we keep reinventing things. But it literally in 29 years, I think I finally have the simplest office financial policy anybody could have. You know, I went from war and peace to a simple one page financial policy, <laughs> single sided. You know, even I can't screw it up when I'm explaining it to patients. So the doctors will actually get a, a copy to a link or we'll send that to them by way of e email for attending the class. And I will promise you, your front desk staff, your insurance staff, they'll think, oh, my gosh, this is the simplest thing we've ever had in, in, in the office. And it will really eliminate all of the funny stuff that goes on in the office, all of the let's make a deal that so many of our staff have to deal with because we deal with so many different payer types these days. So we're going to have a simplicity of a plan, a strategic, and it's going to be our safety net also. I, I, I absolutely think it will. You know, awesome. because of the rules and regulations we have to deal with, my goal in, in putting this course together was, you know, I'm in practice too. Uh, like I said, for 29 years, I've got two docs that work with me now. And, and I'll tell you, one of the biggest areas of frustration has been the business side of the practice. And so sure. I've really worked over the years to try to simplify that. And my goal for doctors when they leave here is, I want you to be able to help your patients, even the ones that don't have insurance, keep care affordable for them and not always have to be looking over your shoulder, wondering, wondering if is what I'm doing right? Is it legal? Is it OK? And so my goal for them attending this course is to literally leave there with a good, solid financial policy where they can start practicing with more peace of mind and start focusing on patient care. What absolutely, absolutely wonderful, and I have no doubt you're going to be a rock in the house when we we have you down in uh, Terrytown. Uh, we're going to leave your uh, your uh, site, CairoHealthUSA.com. That's it.
We're going to make sure we have a tag for you uh, right here on the site. So when you see this, uh, make sure you sign up to see Dr. Foxworth. I think the information we have now is we got to learn the art, the science, the philosophy. But more importantly, we got to have the business acumen to go along with what we do. That's so great. Doc, I appreciate your time. I look forward to seeing you in Terrytown next month. Looking forward to it. Thank you so much. We'll see you then.